Hey everybody, I just want to show you, uh, I looked all over YouTube, everywhere online, to see if anybody has done this. Only one other person has done this and there wasn't on a uh, 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 1000-5. I have a Pioneer 1000-5 deluxe package. I bought it the second year it come out, 2016. Um... I'm gonna turn it around the way you can look, see what it looked like. I got all this out. Now you gotta do all the vent lines. I took this off. This is where the uh, the intake, the air intake comes at. Uh, I'm gonna keep this on just so it uh, can block the water. But uh, I didn't start off when I first started. So it's, it looks a little chaos right now, but if you look at it, this is your air box. This is what you filter. It's pretty high right now, but I want a snorkeler just in case. You never know. These are all pretty sealed pretty good. Go to your carburetor, all that good stuff. But uh, all I did was I cut the old pipe out, which goes down in here, and it goes this way. You got a little bracket here, two more brackets underneath there, so you have to drop the belly pan in order to get it and cut it out. And when I cut it out, if you look here, it was that little hole right there. It had a uh, keeper there, and it went down here and underneath, and it was uh, secured to a bracket down there. But if you uh the only problem i had really is whenever uh to fit and cut everything to where it'll cinch and be the right angle for these uh these couplings and that was the only problem i had but i used i used the original one that's on here all i did was turn it down down and around give you a wider view it was down up and look it's kind of jerry rigged but it it works it's sealed uh, this is a pvc i forget what it's called mash coupling if, if i'm not mistaken uh two inch it fits down into that perfect down to the bottom of the lip here and uh of course this right here you know it'll seal once you uh, got it tight, and this is this is pretty tight, but I did glue it, as you can tell. I did glue this to this just for my purposes, just so I can have a um, the way I know it's sealed. And then I painted that, which I'm going to paint this as well. And uh, of course, you, you know, I got my line, my vent lines coming out. This is only two of them, but I got several of them, and I I'll, I'll explain a little bit more of that later. But it's going to go up here and that way. Now, in order to make this fit, I know you, there's a few people that's going to say, What about the seed? Oh, my God. This and this and that. Now, don't harp on me too bad. This seat right here, I had to cut it here. Now, you got to watch because uh, this is here where your boat's going to go to secure the seat. I didn't want to cut the seat. I just cut the frame, and I'm gonna put some uh, some of that spray foam in here, just to where it, it won't mash together like you see it doing right now. Uh, put some spray foam in there, and then when you secure this, and then you can secure this against this right here, and that way you know you can lean against it. And it won't be no problem. It won't bother it at all. No, not right now. I'm gonna show it later. But uh, of course you got your vent lines there coming out and then I'm going to have to run that all the way underneath here, all the way to here to where I ain't got like 50 million vent lines coming out everywhere. But these are going to come up in here. Just got to tee it off to that, uh, also got my little inline uh, fitting there, tube fitting. And I'm going to run it across here 
tee it off with the uh, rear diff and then come up all the way to here. So if you look at it, it looks pretty good. Fit it down there perfect. Uh, they got a little bracket that goes on top of here. That's going to fit. We had to take off in order to get all that underneath there. Of course, you know, you got to take your little uh, your seat off, back seat off, the uh, the heat uh, separator, a little rubber piece. Of course, you see I got it folded down here. But uh, when I finish, it's going to look a lot better. Of course, it's dirty as hell in here. But yeah, um, of course, while you're out here, you know, you can just check everything out, make sure all your fittings are done, check your uh, intermediate. Uh, transmission. Make sure your dielectric grease on you. Yeah, make sure all, everything's uh, all your wire fittings and stuff. Make sure everything. That looks disgusting, but I'm gonna fix that later. I hope, hopefully, you can hear me. This is gonna be my first video that I make. But like I said, I, I hadn't seen anybody make a rear uh, rear snorkel. You know, usually you got your high lifter snorkels that that come from the front. And then go through here. You gotta, you gotta cut all that out and to where you can fit it. And then it comes up, and you lose this because it comes up here. And then it comes here, and then you fit it there. But I didn't want that, and I didn't want it all in the front right here to where if it splashes or whatever. Of course, that's my preference. And uh, but I got it coming out to the middle here. It's gonna be out the way. Once I put the seat on, the seat's going to lay against here, and uh, I'm going to fit it that way. But it's it's protected, and if it splashes, it ain't going to be no big deal. Uh, we're going we're going to Zona, so uh, down in South Louisiana, so we're going to test it out. They're supposed to have some deep holes over there. We're uh, we'll definitely check it out. We're going to have more videos coming. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pause it here for a second. I gotta run to the store and get some other stuff, and then uh, when I come back and uh, do more to it for the uh, vent lines, I'll uh, show some more video. All right, so we're back. Had to run to the store get some other stuff, uh, but yeah, we got all the lines ran. Ran around, zip tied and up. Let me tell you, you don't want to get water in your differentials and your transmission, uh, you know, sub transmission. It's coming out from the top. Right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it comes around and out and ran on the driver's side to keep it away from the muffler. But it ran up there, and that little filter right here is, uh, it came from the, the original air filter over here. It was in this little box right here. Oop, just dropped the whole thing. But yeah, eventually I'm going to put a, another battery in there, run some LED light, light bar, stuff like that. But, uh, one thing you can't forget is this line here is your uh, line for your fan. This, this has got to be uh, vented as well. So don't forget that. But uh, yeah, that's my, uh, that's my snorkel. I'm going to put it all together. I'll show you what it looked like all together. Uh, other than the way it looks like right now. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, just use the original parts from here all the way to here and then had to buy that I got that at Ace Hardware uh, and then the two inch pipe I'm gonna paint that right there so it don't look uh, that ugly but uh, look a more more present presentable but yeah I'm happy with it I'm uh, as soon as I put it all together I'm gonna start it and see what it sounds like Hey y'all, I just want to uh, update y'all, uh, got some, got the grill going right now, but it uh, started raining, had, uh, as you can hear, thunderstorming, but 
it slacked up a little bit. Get back to the snorkel. Everything's back together like it's supposed to be. Now this is a old, this is 2016, but my seats, I need to get some new one. <laughs> Don't mind the tape, it looks bad, but it is what it is. But anyway, um, I got it up that way, up to the roof, like I told y'all I was gonna put it. I got it painted, it don't look so bad, but uh, I got the seat up against it. I put some of that foam, that spray foam, so it would uh, keep the shock off of that uh, pipe whenever somebody's sitting in here on this side. <clears throat> but it ain't too bad, it, uh, it came out okay. Had a seal problem right there where it uh, was connected, coming off the uh, the box, the filter box. But had to do some small modifications, like I had to cut this little thing out right here to make it fit, because uh, I didn't I didn't account for that. But uh, it's all sealed up now and uh, working pretty good. Don't sound too bad. I'm just glad I got it up off the floor. As y'all know, it's it's got like the uh, factory with the hose that comes from the factory. The intake pipe runs from the front underneath here and comes up all the way underneath there. So, you want to start it up? Yeah, I want to start it up for I just took the uh, factory filter just stuffed it in there I wrapped it up a couple times just to make sure it wouldn't uh, just to make sure it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't suck into the pipe which it don't I'm happy about that I was kind of worried about that I didn't know how much pressure it was gonna be but it is a two-inch pipe so shouldn't have no too many problems with that but it looking all clean and uh, we're gonna get out of this weather. But uh, got that meat on the grill. We're about to cook it down. So, uh, till next time, I'll try to make some more videos. Got some other projects coming up. Uh, more or less, not how to, but what I did. I'm not a professional, and by no means, don't get me wrong, but I'm a Jack of all trades, master of none. Kind of my little saying that you know, I, I could do it all, I just can't do it all professionally. So, uh, till next time, see y'all later.